screen here. Look at this. Woo! I went ahead. I took the liberty of just making sure that we could get this all set up. Right? And, uh, yeah. Maybe you can help me figure out this, uh, this New Jersey redesign we're gonna do, okay? Mateo, you're welcome to, uh, to, to join in, too. Alright? <laughs> I don't even know how to read that. It's like a little poem or song you got going on there, Mateo, but I like it. I dig it. Well, dig this too, guys. Okay, so here's the colors. I went and borrowed the Leafs, the Leafs logo. I mean, it's the only one in the game right now that's a Maple Leaf. I'm sorry, other than the old Toronto Maple Leaf. And that one just doesn't look like a Maple Leaf, really. So uh, it's the one I was born, you know, cheering for. But, uh, you know, this is clearly more of like the, the actual um, Maple Leaf there that they would have on a Team Canada jersey. So we got the red, the black, and the white. Black is included. We all know that. It's a well-known fact with Team Canada by now. You know, the flag is blue, uh, is uh, red and white, but we got the black in there, too, for the hockey stuff, so. Uh, thanks about the music there, Mateo. Yeah, the music stuff is all, uh, uh, you can get it at Epidemic Sound. It's a membership I pay for, so I can get a whole bunch of streaming music that they won't sue me for. All these artists get their little cut. Everything's legit, and I can get a lot of cool instrumentals. There's stuff you never heard of before, but, you know, they can be groovy, too. I got, of course, the Blu-ray, or not Blu-ray, the blue light blocking glasses on tonight. So you know we're about to get serious with the game modes, all right? Uh, what, was you really first? Were you really first in the chat? Yeah, you were first in the chat. Is that what you mean? Uh, Jay, you're talking about there? Yeah, buddy, number one tonight. You won it. All right, so let's get into this, all right? So that's the, uh, that's the colors that we're doing here, all right? The team uniform. Team uniform, home, away, alternate, okay, so... Right away, let's see what it suggests in terms of doing the color schemes, right? You can always go into these things and you can just add the your team color scheme to it. So right here, if I just go square, apply team colors, blammo, that's what they're gonna do for that. Basically like that, which I mean, you're, you're halfway there. You know what I mean already? That's a pretty decent one, right? But I'd wanna flip, I'd wanna flip, flip that color? Which one do I want to do here? I'd want to flip, what is that, band right there? Okay, that would switch to white. You gotta do it opposite, kind of like New Jersey, right? Like it's basically, you could basically do a New Jersey Devils jersey and uh, you're gonna come away looking like Team Canada, right? Like this, you know? And yeah, uh, Canada was trash, you said this year because it wasn't NHL based. Well, I tried watching the game today, man. Like, I'll be the first to admit, I've just not been into the Olympics this year. But it's no disrespect to anybody involved. Like, it wasn't the players or anything like that. Like, I, I think they could be cool guys to watch, but... Where's my C stuff? Come on. Oh, that's in the font. All right, I might fix that after. But yeah, see, there you go. So now we already got a basis down of what the jersey is. Boom, Team Canada, right? It's going to put that logo on there. It's going to be nice. All right, we go in, uh, do the logo right there. Uniform front there. Boom! Boom! Now, unfortunately, you can still kind of see the text of Toronto a little bit, but, you know, that's pretty good. Or should it be this one? Ooh, people like all these dark colors nowadays. They don't really like all the, all the, all the white. What do you think? The black, eh? Yeah, all right, cool. Let's keep it with the black. I'm fine with that. That's a nice little change. We'll make it our own. We'll make it our own tonight, guys. Oh, shoulder logos. I love it when they do this stuff. This is where we can put the white one on, right? Or, or, how do I spin the guy around? There we go, like this. Or, do we do the red one? What do you think? Red? Red? Actually, that's pretty tight. Hey, that's pretty tight. Uh, when is play? When does the playoffs start? You think? I don't know when the playoffs start. Um, I'm guessing it's probably gonna be um, what April? May? May before they even start? I don't know, man. Yeah, the black cut. Hey, DG, uh, DG the God. DG, what's up? Yeah, you gotta like the red there, right? And the black on the chest. I kinda like that. I kinda like that. Boom, boom. All right, cool. Consider it done. We'll back up there. We'll put it on the other shoulder, too, because it's gotta match, guys. We like symmetry in jerseys for the most part. Okay? Oh, I spin again. There we go. So yeah, right on both sides. Boom, boom. All right, there we go. We're looking good already. We're looking good. 
Welcome to the chat, man. Yeah, you're going to find some good people around here. DG, let me tell you. Who are you cheering for this season? Who are you cheering for this season as we rebuild Team Canada's jerseys here tonight? Huh? Oh, I like this tune too, man. Yo, let me tell you, you listening to this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. See, now the boring part is then you have to go through and you have to do all the pants, the socks, the helmets, and everything like that. Like, my goodness. Okay, okay. This is crucial to me. This is what I like the best when it comes to Team Canada stuff. I always have and I always will. Well, bam. All right? And I'll tell you why I like having the black pants. Okay? Some people might want to put red here right now. Uh, Leafs all damn crazy to ask. No, dude, I'm not crazy to ask. Let me tell you. Lots of people come around here that are Habs fans, that are Boston fans, that are Jets fans. We've had some pretty cool people come around here that like, yeah, we'll make fun of each other's teams till we're crying. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's part of it. But like personally, they're cool people and they come around. So uh, if you ever see a Habs fan or something like that in the chat around here, hey, let them have it for their team, right? But never forget that they chose to come here instead of going to a Habs page. That's the way I look at it, right? You don't see me on no Boston chat rooms. You don't see me on no Montreal chat rooms. So if people from other teams want to come here, even if it's just to chirp us, I love it. <laughs> I'm like, you're just helping the cause, man. You're welcome. Absolutely. So everybody's welcome in my chat. Except for obvious criminals or something. I don't know. This is getting weird. I'm going to continue on here. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Ooh, let's put a little pant logo. Okay, here's another call. Do we go white or do we go red? I'm still liking that red, I think. Oh, you guys can't see it behind my stupid head. You can kind of see it there, right? Like, what do we think? What do we think about this? I like that look. I like that look. And then we back out of that. Uh, I don't want to put on both legs. This is one where I, this is like, asymmetry is cool. I, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big hypocrite, guys. I, I like what I like and I try to use rules to justify it. It's not, there's no rules. It's whatever I feel like. And right now on these pants, I'm feeling that asymmetry of having it on the left. The left, the side with the heart. You know what I mean? Like there's something to that where we want that focus right there. Instead of putting it on both. Boom, just like that. See how the C is also on that side? So you get a nice line kind of going down there too. Right, you get a nice line going down there. Uh, socks, I mean. Is there any choice when you start getting colors like this going like they're so beautiful to look at is there any choice really boom right this has got to be white and this has got to be black boom right now if this is looking like they've already done this before uh yeah <laughs> yeah that's the point all right, we like stuff like this. This is what we like from Team Canada, right? Guys, the hardest part about watching that game today, the hardest part about watching that game was I didn't even know the roster yet because I'm still getting used to uh, the Olympics being on in the first place. And I can't read none of their jersey numbers. So even if I learn the names and numbers, I could not read them. That black jersey with the red numbers and no white at all to separate? Bro, I couldn't see that on the TV. I couldn't see that on the TV, man. Now maybe I'm getting old, so maybe that's just on me, but like, let me know in the chat. Can you guys read those numbers when you're watching on TV? Sweden look crisp. Sweden look crisp out there. With that yellow and the blue popping, you can see 62. You can see 49. You can see 12 down the line, right? Like you can see them all. So all you had to do was learn who's what number and you're good, right? Like, oh, I don't know what's wrong with jersey designers right now, but we're showing them, man. The classics work for a reason. All right, so we still got to fix that font. Uh, equipment, that's going to be the helmet color. There you go. See, now some people might be tempted to do this. Right? Some people might like that. Let's take a look further back. Right? You could do that. I would say that's still an acceptable jersey. You know I'm not going with it because that's not what I do around here. But that's an acceptable helmet color to match that, I think. You know? Uh, I need the 4K package. What's that? 4K? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I always fall behind in the chat, man. My bad. <laughs> we could do that, but this is what I want to do right here. Boom. 
get the black, match it with the black shoulders, and it's tight like that. And then if you want to be... Oh, wait, there's one more zone I can fix there that makes it look really good. Is it this? Yes, there we go. I'm a sucker for this. I like contrasting with the white like that on the chin strap. Like to this day, my actual hockey helmet that I'm using for coaching right now, it was a black helmet with a black chin strap. I spent forever trying to track down a white ear loop and chin strap set. It's not that they're expensive. They just don't make them. They don't sell them to common people as often because they get dirty really quickly. A lot of people just hate them. They switch to black. I'm a sucker for this. This is like 80s stuff to me right here. A white a white one like that because then it gets all dingy yellow as it hits the playoffs. You know what I mean? Guys start looking like they've been through war, you know? Like, I like seeing the wear and tear as it goes on throughout the season. Like a goalie's pads, you know? When they start taking all those puck marks and stuff, you're like, yo, that goalie's been through battles. Right? That's what I like. So, call me crazy, but this is the kind of stuff I like. <laughs> I'm very particular. Uh, decal, I mean, yeah. It's going to be over here, right? You know we're going to go with the red one. We've been going with it the whole time. We like that. It looked really good. See, because, again, they had red on black today on their jerseys, unseparated by white, just like this. So am I being a hypocrite for choosing it as well? No, because we're going to make the numbers and uh, we're going to make the numbers pop more than anything. And that's what's going to matter most. Okay, if you do that, all this other stuff, even the person's name, I don't need to know their name on their jersey. I am old. I can't read that half the time, you know? front number you gotta put it on both sides man front and back but boom but boom when you're in the big leagues you get numbers in the front and back of your helmet everybody's got to know who you are you know um oh this one's good too i am vibing this man does that make sense um let's see here Glove color, definitely gonna switch this to black. Well, okay, apply team colors, yeah. It's gonna switch it all red, ugh, so stupid. Although, we could do something kind of like Rockstar here. You wanna see what we could do to make this a little Rockstar? Come on, where's the sections? Here we go, we're gonna need this one. And we're gonna need no, nope, not that. See how it highlights, right? Like when you're doing these designs, right? It highlights the spots like that. We're gonna go like this. Where is it? Come on. Where's the color? Where's the spot I want? Is it the first one? Yes, of course. <laughs> Which one do I want, Ryan? Oh yeah, the first one, whoops. See that? It's kind of like fingerless gloves. <laughs> Right? Like, it kind of looks, it kind of looks like, you know, like a pro wrestler or something with like a fingerless glove. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's a little against classic for me. I, I would normally like, like straight black cuff or straight black glove with a red cuff only. You know, something, something classy looking like that. Uh, but we're going to be a little adventurous today. We are going to mix it up a little bit just because it's for the internet, man. Why, why can't I be more than one thing, huh? Why do you got to stereotype me? Why am I boxed in? can't box me in ready let's go so that's my gloves no problem there look at that we are most of the way there um glove color no we just did that helmet number we did that don't need goalie equipment where is what am i missing no that's it right oh the font this stuff yes okay so that color we're gonna go black but we are going to turn this white, right? That's the only black on, on red like that combo where we're going to separate it by the white because that's going to make everything pop when you're looking at it from a distance, more so than the black on the red, right? Are you guys having trouble finding each other's links or something? What's going on with you two? <laughs> Uh, font style's fine. I don't really care. Where's that other one? Here we go. So this one as well. We're going to switch to white. And I'm assuming this one. Nope. Right there. That one. We're going to switch to black as well. Okay. So all the numbers. 
all the numbers pop. Honestly, I would put it around the black maple leaf if I could. You know what I mean? For that black maple leaf, I would put the white trim around it right now if I could. But it won't let me. But just imagine that too. That'd be nice. Kind of like that C right there, you know? It's just the maple leaf as well. It just helps it pop. So old guys like me can see it from a distance. I don't understand. Why, why doesn't the world care about what I like anymore? <laughs> oh, I'm such an old man, eh? Why don't the young guys see it my way? <laughs> I understand. I understand how stupid that sounds. All right, I get it. <laughs> you guys know I've never been one to hide my hypocrisy, all right? Never. I'm human too, right? So then, yeah, you do the away thing. I'm not going to do that right now, but you know what I mean? Then you do an alternate. You could do a black one. I like how they've had black in the past. It's just they separated it with the white in between uh, the black and the red. So it pops, you know? Anyways, that's all we're going to do for that. Okay, now let's get into some... Um, oh, wait, I'll save it. No, average for aces. I don't even care. Discard changes. I don't even care. That's it. I'm not even saving it. All right. So now I'm going to get into some... World of Chell. I want to get back into this a bit, man. 